He is the pilot accused of killing 11 men in Britain's worst air show disaster in 63 years. Today, Andy Hill spoke for the first time in public since that crash in Shoreham in West Sussex in 2015. Sitting just feet away from some of the relatives of the victims whose lives were lost that day. At times using a model of the fighter jet which he was in control of when it crashed, he demonstrated manoeuvres and movements he'd done many times before in displays, before there were questions about his integrity. He was asked by his barrister, are you a Cavalier pilot? He said, I was probably one of the least people that applied to, in the sense that there are ways to be Cavalier and some people are, some people are not. I believe I took a very structured, disciplined approach to it. Mr Hill, a trained RAF instructor, was coming to the end of an aerobatic manoeuvre that summer's day in 2015 when his plane plunged to the ground and exploded in a fireball, killing 11 people on the ground. He's claimed he was suffering from cognitive impairment at the time. Responding to a question from his own lawyer, Mr Hill denied ever being told about the dangers of blacking out from G-forces or G-lock during his training with the RAF. It is the phenomenon he claims to have suffered on the day of the crash. He was asked, did you learn anything about G-lock during RAF training? He said, I can't recall G-lock ever being part of formal training. Mr Hill told the court it was the primary aim of displays to avoid risk and that he was known for his preparation. He denies 11 counts of manslaughter by gross negligence and will continue his evidence tomorrow. Sejal Karia, ITV News.